is going on my super sandwiches rhyme style here and today I got something very special as you can see on on this side of the screen Mewtwo I finally got the Mewtwo event uh, and I, this is my first Pokemon Go video by the way if you want to see more uh, feel free to leave a like right below and I don't know let me know what your favorite Pokemon is right now in the game if you play and if you guys want to see more Pokemon Go content I'll actually plan on it it's actually funny because I started recording um, Pokemon Go the other day and uh, I was on my way to a Raikou raid and I had it all ready to record and as I got there, I had like this entire vlog set up type of thing. Literally as I get there and sit down and the Raikou Ray is about to start, my camera dies, my phone. Uh, not my phone, on the, on the actual camera. The battery on the camera dies, that one. Phone was still fine. I managed to actually record the raid and I was going to actually probably talk over it like I didn't do right now. But then I realized uh, I ran out of time, so it didn't actually work out. But the point is, is I got invited to a Mewtwo raid this past week. Uh, the way it works is, as long as you're doing raids around, I guess, your local area or locations, wherever raids are happening, uh, you have a chance of being invited back. Currently, it's still in the beta testing phase. I don't really know exactly like what their goal is or how long these are going to be getting sent out. Basically, what happened was me and Kirabug, we actually play Pokemon Go a lot. I'm talking about in between me doing videos, I'm out. <laughs> I'm usually out catching rares. Uh, my favorite thing to do is go for 100% IV Pokemon, which right now I have a bunch, uh, including Tarantar, which is my favorite one that I have right now as my hundreds. Um, but we play a lot. And with that said, we were doing a lot of raids. So we got notifications two days ago on Wednesday, as, at the time of recording, no wait, on Tuesday. At the time of recording this right now, it is currently Thursday, 8.45 p.m., an hour and 40 minutes after doing the Mewtwo raid. And basically we got a notification saying, hey, Mewtwo's happening, show up at this location um, between so-and-so and, you know, good luck, basically. Now here's the interesting part. Uh, like, all the raids we've done, we didn't get that. We didn't get that location. Basically, the raid that we got sent to, we did a raid there like once or twice in the past like month and a half. And I found it funny because we do most of our raids like way, way further inland, and uh, all our friends from our group got their raid passes there. We did. We ended up getting into like a completely middle of nowhere situation type of thing. And it's even funnier because as we get there, we're like, oh my gosh, no one's gonna show up because like they tell you you want to show up like 20 minutes before, maybe half an hour before just to make sure you can get in without any problems. And we were literally sitting there like, dude, this race starts at five minutes, nobody's showing up. At the time we were hitting 7 p.m., it was literally only like six of us there. And normally for the Mewtwo raids, it's been about reported about 30, 40 people based on whatever I told us. Uh, at the other location where we usually have been raiding, our friends were telling us that about 30 people showed up, which is about right from what you know everyone's saying. But like we were literally sitting there like, oh my God, we're gonna miss this first Mewtwo raid. Again, I get it, it's a beta, it's a beta test. They're still trying to figure it out. Um, I didn't expect anything to go right, basically. But literally, as soon as it hit 705, people started trickling in here and there, and ended up being about 15 of us. Now, normally, in other locations, people will split down to about, I think, uh, multiple groups, like three or four groups. But we just had enough to do, basically, just one. So we figured, let's just jump in, power through it, and whatever, um, you know, Pokeballs we get out of it, we'll get that. Now, lucky for me, I am Team Mystic, which, by the way, if you, if you play Pokemon Go, let me know which team you are down below. I am Team Mystic, and I had just taken the gym down prior to the raid actually starting, so I did get the, the gym control bonus from that. And I think the most in the group ended up being either Valors or Instinct, which is kind of a first, because usually Mystics are dominating everything else. I feel like all the Mystics went to the other location, and whereas my location was just basically a couple of Instincts and Valors, and I think there were only like really like three or four Mystics at that location. But the point is, is that it's like, it got to the point where we were all thought we weren't able to actually do it, and we ended up actually doing it with 15 people, so it actually worked out. Now, the actual catching process. So, for what everybody says, the reports currently say it is a 6% catch rate of uh, Mewtwo, which, by the way, I don't know which part or the gameplay is going to be playing at the time of me talking this. I decided to just kind of like record it over there and then speak over my experience while I'm sitting down. Uh, at the time I was sitting down, it was a 6% catch rate. And uh, normally, I think it's been like 2%. Lugia has been 2%. I think the birds are all 3%. And the way it works is as long as you do. If you add stuff onto it, it increases the catch rate. For example, if you do curveballs, if you get nice, excellent greats, if you get uh, golden raspberries, all that stuff increases the rates. And I believe with Mewtwo, well, not Mewtwo, um, Lugia specifically, it was a 24% catch rate if you get a golden raspberry, excellent throw. So if that's that, I believe, if my math is probably wrong, I believe that if you get a excellent on Mewtwo, um, with the golden raspberry, it ends up being about somewhere like 47%, but I might be wrong because I just looked at it one time, but basically it's a high catch rate, and I guess the reason why I did that is just due to the fact that 
because it's so limited and it is a test, they kind of increased the up uh, the catch rate for that. I know in Japan when they had the initial reveal of Mewtwo, what they ended up doing was it was 100% catch rate. They gave it like 52 balls, and if you toss it and hit it, it's 100% catch rate. I think that's what we'll be doing in all the major like events, uh, Pokemon Go Fest and stuff. But yeah, it was actually exciting. Like mine ended up being a 83%. It was cool because it had 15 attack, which is the max what you want for that. So it's like even though it is kind of a lower Mewtwo, it's right in what you would want. Kiribati actually ended up catching the best one in the group. Hers was a 93, which had like I believe it was 14 attack, uh, 13 and 14. It wasn't perfect across the board, but it was pretty high up. And uh, hers was a 2056. I think 2075 is the highest you can go. But all together, it was a lot of fun. Now as far as what I would change. Honestly, what they need to work on is uh, adding a way to communicate. What I think they should do, honestly, with this is if you get a ca uh, raid, maybe like four or five hours prior to the raid actually happen, you can do like a check-in button or something that says, hey, I'll be here. And you can even tier it, like I'll be here at 7, I'll be here at 7.45, I'll be here at 7.30, yada, 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 yada. If they do that, it'll be easy to organize. So if anybody from Niantic happens to be watching this video, try to work on that. Because right now, basically, it was, all you have to work with is if you're in a Discord group, which is basically everybody, everybody does around to play the game, you can kind of organize around his raids. Like, hey, there's a Raikou over there, let's go show up at 2.30. Hey, there's a Blastos over there, let's go show up at 4 o'clock. Like, it's a lot easier to organize that way. But because, like, you basically get split up with the EX raids, there's no real telling of who can show up. Lucky for us, because our group is so big, we had about four people from our Discord that showed up at our location, and from there, it's kind of like crossing our fingers, hoping that other people will show up. So if there's one thing I could change about that, it is the fact that uh, they should make it so um, when you actually get the raid pass a couple hours prior to the beginning, have a little check-in button that tells people, hey, I'll be here. Because the worst thing that can happen is you show up and, and no one's there. Because you, you only get one shot at these, unless you get another pass, which is going to happen at some point in the next couple days or so. But yeah. It was fun. I caught my first one. Uh, that's all that's important. Care about caught her. I think out of the 15 people that did uh, the raids in our circle, only one person ended up not catching it. And uh, I think it's funny also because prior to starting, there were actually a bunch of login issues with the Pokemon Trainer Club as well. So people almost couldn't even do it. But uh, lucky for them, it ended up getting, getting fixed right before it started. So it all worked out in the end. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. So if you've done any of these raids in the past uh, weeks, especially the EX raids, let me know your personal experience with it. Uh, and if you don't live in like areas where it's like Pokemon Go raid heavy, uh, what are your issues you experience? I mean, I think that the main issue is going to be just being able to organize and get together as a group. But um, the thing is, is I if you join a Discord with groups in the local area, it becomes so much easier and more fun as well because you also get to meet people. So I like that, but like it's still it was still difficult to get to that point. So I don't know. I mean, Niantic is working on it. With that said, what is the next legendary that you're hoping to see in Pokemon Go? That could be any legendary, not just the ones that are coming out. I know Ho-Oh is going to be next, but if you could personally pick which one will be next, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And other than that, also let me know your thoughts overall as an experience with the Pokemon Go raids. Uh, but yeah, also if you check out me tossing, I was so nervous. <laughs> I was spinning the whole time. I don't want to like waste it because I thought it's like, okay, if I, if, I, if I just spin it and just wait for him to swing, then I can throw it and just kind of hope that it works, but there's a lot better ways to do it. It's actually funny because I did pull off an excellent throw at some point. Uh, I don't know if they already played or not. I do end up getting an excellent throw and it doesn't actually end up catching it. In my opinion, every time I got an excellent throw, it almost never worked. Lucky for me though, I got that critical catch and it makes me really wonder if I didn't get the critical catch to get Mewtwo, what would have actually happened? Because like, anything could happen at that point. But yeah, uh, I guess just discuss your thoughts down below. And by the way, in case you are working on doing the next Mewtwo rate or you're going to one the trick you want to go with because uh, I literally sat there for like about two hours the other day going through a bunch of videos seeing what people actually do the trick is uh, when he first of all he jumps a lot do not just throw when he jumps a lot I did that once as you can see in the video you can rewind and see it and I completely missed what you want to do is, is you got to wait for him to swing his arm down because what he does is, is when he swings his arm down he does this and then he kind of like you know goes back to neutral position when he goes back to neutral position, then throw it. Because what's going to happen is, is with Raikou, he would lunge, lunge forward, and as he starts going back, then he wants to throw it. But with Mewtwo, it's like the second he swings, he starts the visibility first until he puts his arm down completely, then he throws it. And then you can like, actually perfectly time it to hit him before uh, you know he goes into his next animation, whether it be a jump or another attack, and yada, yada, yada. So it's, it's very, very tricky. And the worst part is, there's no way to practice it. He's all the way in the back in the first place, which is already hard to throw as is. And two, he has such a different uh, movement and behavior as opposed to the other legendaries in the game. So it was very, very tricky. Very, very tricky. But uh, lucky for me, I got my critical, and everybody else around me, they ended up catching his as well. So it worked out in the end. But, but yeah, it was pretty, pretty fun. 
If you have any questions about rating or Mewtwo in general, feel free to ask me down below. You can also tweet me at RhymeStyle. Again, if you want to see more Pokemon Go content on this channel, which I really, really want to do, because uh, I can now, because I got iOS 11 now, and I can record my screen a lot easier, um, make sure you leave a like below as well as a comment, and I shall make it happen. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoy us today. This has been Rhyme, Rhyme, Rhyme. <laughs> Brian Stahl, without a care about she's downstairs. Hope you guys enjoyed today slash night. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.